Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Ryan Blaney's Body Armor Strawberry Banana Car from 2020. As always, take a quick look at the box. As you see, we just have the generic Team Penske box. Got Team Penske on the front, NASCAR Cup Series. Down the side, you got 2020 Body Armor. Got to render the car right there. Standard finish. See, they made a total of 708 of these things. Team Penske, standard finish. Got Team Penske again on the back. 2020 Action Racing Collectibles. And you, of course, have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. But now let's get down to the car itself. This beautiful paint scheme ran at the August Daytona race. It was part of a fan vote. Body Armor had a graffiti artist design three paint schemes to three other flavors. And this was the one that won out of all three of them. It was between this one, you had an orange mango car and a tropical punch car. It was kind of obvious right when the vote started that this one was probably going to win. Everyone really liked this one, and especially thought this one would look really cool under the lights of Daytona. With the black, with the you know bright neon yellow and pink and red. And it did look very good under the lights. This was a beautiful, beautiful car. I love the body armor is starting to do more and more special paint schemes. So it's so funny to me that we went from no die cast from 2019 for body armor to now we have four paint schemes and four die cast. Well, if you count the all-star car, completely different paint scheme. But still, each race has a die cast made now for 2020 because he did run technically a different paint scheme in every race. But this thing is just awesome. This one actually does have one Dixie on the back. That's cool. <laughs> but man, just a beautiful, beautiful paint scheme. This is definitely one of the best paint teams of the year, easily. Really glad it got produced in diecast form. But anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Body Armor and a very cool-looking logo with three pictures of Strawberry Banana right there. Got Pennzoil, got Ford Mustang, number 12 on the front. A oh, little chip or something right there in the grill. On the side, you got Body Armor. You got Menards down there. On the C-Post, you have Advanced Auto Parts and Dex Imaging. And on the B post, you have Ford, DXC Technologies, PPG, Mazek, and Discount Tire. Got your one winner sticker right there from Talladega. Just has your regular contingencies and such. On the back, like I said earlier, you have Winn-Dixie. Really cool. They're actually able to get the supermarket on the back. If you remember back in the 2018 diecast, that car ran with, uh, I forget what supermarket it was, but both times it ran with the supermarket, but they didn't put either on the diecast. So that's really cool that this time they actually did. On the deck lid, you have nothing, and on the roof, you have nothing. This is number 297. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. See, it just says body armor and powered by Ford. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously, no deck lid. The roof flaps, of course, do open. And there is the underside of the car if you want to see that. Not a whole lot to talk about the car like this, but just a beautiful, beautiful special paint scheme. This car is out right now in Authentics, too, if you want to get an Authentics of it. Just like I said, one of the best paint schemes of the year. A very nice car. Like, this is just a car you can want to stare at for a while just to see every little detail and mark. Like I said, it's a, from a graffiti artist, so it has a lot of little details. You might not notice the first time you look at this car. Just a beautiful, beautiful car. All three of them look good. Like I said, it was kind of obvious this one was going to win from the start because the other one was just the orange mango car was primarily orange and the tropical punch car was primarily yellow. So this one had the most colors, was the most unique, and just honestly the best paint scheme. So like I said, pretty much everyone knew right away this one was probably going to win the vote. I would honestly say use some of the other paint schemes for some other stuff, you know? Like this year, run one of the other paint schemes. So we get maybe all three of them at some point. I think that would be kind of cool. Or do another program like this. Like, having a bunch of different cars for different flavors is honestly a cool idea. Like, especially in a couple of years, if they've run a bunch of different flavors and you have, like, a nice set of cars with all the different flavors, you can have the bottles behind them and everything. I mean, strawberry banana here is one of my, uh, you know, favorite flavors. This is definitely one of the best flavors. My three favorite flavors are probably this, fruit punch, and watermelon strawberry. A watermelon strawberry car could look kind of cool. I mean, we've gotten many watermelon cars with Ross Chastain, but still, a watermelon-based body armor car sounds fun. Hopefully they do run some different special paint schemes and such this year. We do know that the primary body armor car is staying the same for 2021. The red one with the white with the yellow stripes down the side. 
that one is the same. Not sure exactly when he's racing it, but yeah, this one. This car is basically staying the same for 2021. But can't wait to see what else they come up with. This car is a brand new release. You can get it right now. This is a very popular paint scheme, so I would not be surprised if it gets rare. Remember, as always, you can get all your diecast needs at circlebdiecast.com. And if you use the code BWAC, you get free shipping on any order over $20. So check that out. But I think it's pretty much all there is to say. This has been a review of Ryan Blaney's Body Armor Strawberry Banana Ford from 2020. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.